We're here, 2016. Grant Hillen! Okay, that's who it's about. You know who it is? Three, three. Josh Grant, people, get it through your head. Josh Grant would certainly like to find a permanent position on that Kawasaki team. Let's go, you got this! He's a fill-in rider there, but look at him now. Look at the deed for this land. It'll say Josh Grant on it, number 33. You think anyone else owns it? No. You think Glenn Helen is a real person? No. It's Grant Helen, and that's all you need to know. This is your home track. We have seen you wax the Americans and all those GP guys out here, so one more year. It's a big deal. Yeah. Lay it down. I think he seems a little nervous. He probably feels a lot of pressure on him because this is his home track and he's expected to finish well. You still got Eli, you still got Roxanne, you still got Dungey. But like I said, this is Josh's home track. Hopefully he can he can run up there with those guys. Show him what he's got. Glen Helen, arguably one of the roughest and gnarliest tracks on the circuit, so today will undoubtedly be a test of bike and rider. Glen Helen is not a race I think he looks forward to. Glen Helen is a race I know he looks forward to. This literally is home for him. We've been coming here for 22 years. We started out on the PW50, so it's been a lot of years we've been here. He likes the track, he likes the people, he loves to be around the fans, all the, the guys that come out. That's why there's pressure. Everybody knows what he's capable of doing here, and it's expected. I expect it, he expects it. JD thrives under like being an underdog, and he's not an underdog at Glen Helen, so the pressure goes up. What do you think about it? I'm bobbing out. I've been. P3, Josh Brandon. Yeah. Still solid. Like, even, in the, even, in the, even in the bumps, not even really so much the Still flips for sure. Like, I'm just clunk, clunk, clunk. But I'm scared to go stiff. <laughs> they haven't beat the shit out of me. Suspension's probably the main thing that, you know, in this sport everyone struggles with. You can never find that perfect setting on anything. So all we can do is try, get a little bit closer next time. But yeah, we're going to stiffen up the front and try to give him a little more hold up. First practice was all right. Track was okay. We uh, threw in some new settings we haven't tried yet. We're trying to still figure out some things with the bike from last weekend, so it feels good. I've done a lot of laps here, so it's really easy for me to kind of figure out the bike, and I'd rather worry about it in practice, get it set up so that the race is uh, a little bit easier for me. You want to go out here? Kind of by the box area? Heard earlier that Josh Grant was having a tough time getting his suspension really dialed in to accommodate the changes they made to the track, and Glenn Helen. It's a grueling one, so if you're not comfortable with the bike out there, that could bite you. Oh, did you see that? Close call for the 33 of Josh Grant. Hey, go back on that shot. You all right? I heard you had a big one. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> How's that set up? Yeah, it's better. OK. What we rode out here during the week is like obviously nothing like it is now, so it's just so deep. And what we thought was a good setting is shit because it's yeah. Yeah. And the rollers, boom, boom. It's better, though. One of our local boys here, I know he's got a lot of fans. I want to hear it for the fifth qualifier of the 33, Joshua Grant. Josh Grant expects to win today. I mean, he loves this track. He knows this is his opportunity. And uh, he's been working hard to get here. Just get out there, dude. Do what you know how to do here. It's your track. You know this place better than anybody. And Helen, let's go! You know, I grew up racing here, he grew up racing here. When we were little kids growing up racing against each other, he was the guy to beat here. So, you know, we're 15, 20 years later, and he's the same guy. Looking back through the field, Josh Grant didn't get a great start. His eyes are up front. Oh, man. Oh, get around him. Oh, yeah! Now coming under fire from the 33 of Josh Grant. Let's go, you got him, yeah! As Grant tries to sweep around the outside, Let's go! Josh Grant in sixth as he continues to work his way toward the front. Boom, oh, awesome. 17 to 6, Josh. Are you kidding me? Looking so strong at that number 33. Not the great start. Not even near the top eight or nine riders. And he's just moved forward the entire event. With a minute 30 seconds remaining until we see that two laps to go board. 
Grant now moves up to sixth, of course. Six, six for six. I'll take it. Damn it. It's all right, you killed it. You did what you could do. You got some fast guys up front, and coming from where he started to where he finished, I think is pretty unbelievable. It was almost bittersweet. I thought he could be top five. Actually, I thought he could win. Like, to run with those guys up front, you had to start with them. You know, he did what the bike would let him do. The track just got too rough, and at some point, you just got to play it smart. He's done a great job. This is 22 years of racing. Uh, it would have been nice to go out with a win, but if you look at the other 34 behind him, that's no joke. He's still no joke. So after all this, he can still do it.